Why you have people play the bells and, and yep. the glockenspiel and all this? Yep. Why would you do that when you can play the saw? Where did now, you learn to do this? I, I learned to play the saw from a wonderful man here in Denver. His name is Earl Rome, Dr. Earl Rome, and and Earl showed me years ago. And uh, in fact, uh, a gentleman that used to be here at the uh, the station, Ward Lucas. Ward Lucas can play the saw. And did he learn from, from you? Same guy. No, from Ooh, Earl Rome. Is that fun? Is it? So here's what you do. You, you literally this is at the store. So you, you we're not buying a musical saw. This is a real saw from the store. All right. There's one thing that I did with this one here, and I ground down the edges. Otherwise, that's part of the surgery. So oh, you want to yeah, grind down the edge. Mine, however. <clears throat> A little sharper? Sure. It's okay. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You got the good suit on, so you're yeah. fine. In and of itself, not very musical, so it's vibration. So here's the stick. See? Not, not very musical. No. But if we temper it just a little bit and put a little bit of strain on it, and, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold it with my knee, and I taught you at the break, you're going to hold it with your knee, and I'm going to squeeze just a little bit. Try it. Now bend it down a little bit, and you'll change the pitch. Nice. Ah. See, now we could have our own CD here in no time. <laughs> yeah. So a long time ago, they used to play the saw with a, a yardstick. So they'd run the yardstick this way, and but not very good. So that's why uh, here is your, oh. your bow, all your right? Bow. So yeah. I always go and get the bow at the end of the year, you know, after the, the rentals are done and the oh, kids have done. Oh, so right. And we rosined it up. So the science is stick and slide. And I already did yours just fine. So it's stick and yeah, slide. Sure so here's you what you're going to do is you're going to hang on to it like this. Good okay. job. Now, what we do is we pull and we put that little S curve into it, and we're going to try to find a sweet spot right here. So, oh, there it is. <gasps> you're doing it, Mark. You and I should do a CD together, shall we? The men of Nine News at four o'clock play. My wild is <laughs> Irish road. Okay, no. let's stick with the song. All right. So now, so listen to this. If you get your knee to vibrate, yeah. So you get knee vibrate, which really kind of looks funny, but it looks like this. And then we have this vibration. Now this isn't very musical, but every dog within five miles is here at the station thinking it's time for a treat. That is. Isn't that great? That is just amazing. Now there's, the there's the international. Oh, you got it right there. There's the International uh, <laughs> Association of Saw Players, and Earl and I had a, a lesson about a month ago here at um, at Swanson. Oh, you see, you did you. it Thank you. That great. was very good. Yes. Yeah. Now, just in case that wasn't working for you, I brought you the cowbell. All right. Because oh, I figured, figured that there's nothing More better cowbell. than cowbell ah. and some saw as well, we play Silent Night. You, and you, you were and clearly you. a very good teacher. Let me yes. see. Oh, you are good. This is what, it's just some practice, so that's why I'm going to come over to your house and you and Kathy are going to serve dinner and we're going to have our first saw lesson. Isn't that nice? <laughs> oh, gee, who would have guessed? You are very accomplished. Oh. You have a whole knee thing going there. and I have nothing to do on a Sunday. More so this is it. The boys sit around and say, Dad, is there anything we can do today besides play the saw? And I go, no, the banjo. So that's a... Uh, More fun at the Spangler household on a weekend.